Welcome to my track training. We are going to discuss invoicing and pack and slips. In my track, it's like an accounting package where you have your sales orders and you have your pack and slips as you ship parts out the door from your customer's purchase order. Everything really starts at an item. You could review the item maintenance review and videos online. But an item is really just a part number, it could be associated to a customer, it could be either a purchase part or a fabricated part. You could actually go to your invoice module and ship any item in your system, even a service type item. Now, a sales order is a demand from your customer. Once you receive a purchase order from your customer, you put the sales order in the system. You could scroll through the sales orders in the sales order module. You could look at the details. As you're looking at the details, each line item on the sales order has a quantity, a delivery date, a status, things like that. A sales order does not produce anything to inventory. So the basic process is you create a sales order, you've received a purchase order from your customer. At that point, you have a choice. Do you have enough in inventory? You go create your pack and slip and ship it out the door. If you do not have enough in inventory, you must actually create a work order to produce parts in inventory to ship it out the door. Or you go actually create a purchase order and have your supplier bring in the item to you. You receive it in and then you'll have enough in inventory to ship it out the door. An invoice is created from the invoice module. An invoice is the same thing as a pack and slip. Basically the difference is one shows prices, one does not. So in our system, I'm going to show all our unconfirmed pack and slips. And you could actually scroll through and see the different line items. This example, I have an invoice with three line items. There's a taxable amount. We have totals. You could add freight. You could add multiple line items. And for each invoice, you actually have shipping addresses. Bill to and ship to. You could put a customer tracking number in there, character, carrier account number. You could actually add salespersons. The salespersons would be added for commissionable items. And you can see history of invoice payments, activity log, and some miscellaneous shipping notes and comments. When you hit the print button, you are given the option to print either a pack and slip or an invoice. Now in my track to create your invoice, you just hit the new button. You could type in a sales order number, part number, or any other type of search criteria like due date. And the system would actually list, in this example, all the deliveries for this specific sales order number. We have two part numbers. I click them. I could hit OK and the system would actually create a pack and slip for this item. The system will automatically close the sales order for you so you don't have to go back and close the sales order. You could actually create invoices that aren't actually associated to a sales order. Somebody just comes in and says I would like to buy X widgets from you. You could actually just create a shipper and invoice them directly. Now the other thing you could do you need to make sure is you have enough on hand. If you do not have enough on hand you will not be able to create this pack and slip for this item. So once you have the pack and slip created you could ship it out the door but one thing is the system is going to pull inventory from locations and exa this example I needed to ship 50 parts but my default location did not actually have any parts in it so I'm going to actually ship 13 from location building 3 and another 37 from building 1 and this actually took inventory out of two different locations to fulfill this order you could hit the edit button to edit any of the light items inventory is automatically adjusted and you'll have all the history and you can now add in any comments or any other information you desire. That's an introduction to invoices. We'll go in more detail on further videos.